We're off to Wealth Wednesday, and we're joined again by our friend, private wealth advisor Will Rogers. He's here to discuss how to save for college. That's right. College is expensive. <laughs> Duh. Uh, costs can include a tuition, books, room and board, and travel, of course. Uh, the price tag for a four-year degree can exceed $100,000 nowadays, and Will's going to be telling us how uh, we can prepare for this. Will, good morning. Thanks for joining us again. Good morning. Good, good to be here, and, and I'm, I'm going to tell a little bit about uh, my story going to college, a little bit about my story paying for my kids' college, because it's all relevant to going to school today. And your experience touches a lot on what other people are having to go through uh, right now. Yeah. So, yeah, well, let's uh, share with us what you did. All right. Well, so when I was growing up, I kind of always known from a young age that grandma and grandpa had set aside a college fund for me. Okay. So, so my junior year, I call them up and I'm like, Grandma, um, I, I'm getting ready to apply for schools. I, I, I'm sorry, but I do need to ask how much is in the college fund. And she was so proud. She was just radiating. She's like, Will, we've got $748.55 in your college <laughs> fund. <laughs> Thank you. It's time for a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's what they could do. Now, immediately I looked at low cost ways that what, what can I do? So, so I enrolled actually in college while in high school, the dual enrollment. So I got some college credits at very low rates because I was in high school and accounted for both. Then I also went, I asked my uncle for money and enlisted in the army with Uncle Sam. Um, so the, the military provided several benefits. Um, when I was looking at schools, uh, I, I looked at what are the options, but I took out a lot of student loans. And I had the student loans that were there. When I was at school, there was a tuition exchange program that opened up. And so I went from Montana State University to the University of Montana because the tuitions were much lower. You know, these are rival schools. It wasn't an easy psychological decision. Right. But it was a real easy financial decision to say, hey, do you want to cut your tuition bills in half? Um, I bought used books. Something else, I took the maximum credit hours because the cost of 12 credit hours is the same as 18 credit hours. So buy two, get one free. Right. I ended up finishing school in three and a half years with a double major and an army commission. And Impressive. do that for a buck. <laughs> right. And, and so as, as you're going through, um, some of the takeaways from this. Uh, when going to school, it's a lot easier to save money than, or, or to, to, to cut costs than it is to save money. Right. Um, the dual enrollment in high school, uh, that, that's something our, our son Colin did. And he had his freshman year of school done before he even went to Georgia Tech. And this was huge because then he got to pick the classes ahead of all of his um, classmates because he had more credit hours and that's who gets to pick first. Um, taking the full credit load for those who can handle the full credit load, um, you know, it can save a third of the time off. And then also two different schools can give very similar experiences at very different costs. Check, check those out, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like I fall in that boat, yeah. you know? I, I didn't go to the larger names like OU or OSU back in Oklahoma. I stayed home and went to a little, still four-year college mm -hmm. at a much, much cheaper rate. Yes, yeah. and, and, and here you are a star. And, and, and not to be flattering, but, but you went to a much cheaper school and you are incredibly successful. And it's, it's a little complicated. It's still a, oh, thank you. No, I appreciate you. It's still a journalism major and I'm still doing what those other students are doing. So that's certainly a, a big deal. So you talked about ways that you saved, you know, while you went to school. Are there things that you took from your experience and used when it came time for, you know, your kids to go to school? I, I did, and, and so part of it, I, I did start saving for my kids um, at an early age, and, and one of the things uh, that I was fortunate, my, my kids had wage earnings at early ages, so I was able to make contributions to Roth IRAs for them. Okay. And so by, by making the, the um, their college fund was in Roth IRAs, when they got to school, we were also very fortunate that most of their tuition was paid for, Hope Scholarship. Uh, paid for the, the tuition of, of, of my, my, my children's education. So the room and board was all that we had left and we were able to handle that out of cash flow. As a result, my kids now have Roth IRAs, their retirement's essentially funded because they didn't need to use it for their college funding. Wow, um, we negotiated schools. Uh, we went to places that, you know, um, 
right now my daughter, you know, Ashley, she had wanted to go to UGA, but Kennesaw State was much less expensive. She went there. Now UGA is paying her $30,000 a year to get her PhD. There wow. you go. It can be done. Officer be thinking done. and yeah, yes. planning, planning ahead. I, I, planning ahead and even planning from a parent standpoint, I think is a big deal. I'm not the expert, but I have to say from someone who reaped the benefits, my parents also started saving for my college fund at a young age. And although I did apply for all the scholarships out there, which was helpful, my parents having that money allowed me to graduate with no student loans. So between scholarships and my parents, you know, uh, it, it was really beneficial. So I know that those are yes. things that I'm right. taking Good in the future moving forward. Yeah. And, and it's, it really, it's a combination. The, the, the biggest point, I pulled together a lot of different little things that helped. So yes, there were student loans, there was savings that, that grandma and grandpa had. Mm -hmm. um, I worked several jobs in college, my kids did too, um, being used books. So instead of one windfall, the savings help, the, the scholarships help, the, all these little things came together and it was a lot of work to pull all those things sure. together, but that's what worked was pulling those little things together. All right, for the parents that still have a little time to be preparing for this, <laughs> where can they go to uh, use your tutelage, Will? Uh, always happy to share our wisdom on wealth. Uh, WRogers.info is our website. We've got a lot of good articles on college savings on our resources tab. Uh, you can give us a holler at 706-312-2000. Uh, but really, truly, Watch watch this broadcast and others on WRDW.com. Um, I've been talking about college mm -hmm. for a long time, and there's a wealth of knowledge right here on your website. Actually, yeah, the last few weeks have all been about the kids. Right, so. and you've been getting a lot of good feedback. So with that said, it's National Compliment Day. We're not just saying this because it is National Compliment Day, but we really do appreciate you and all of your words of wisdom that you're sharing. Clearly, it's really reaching people at home. You're meeting them in the bread aisle, yes. as you said, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and they're stopping you and asking for this information. So thank you so much, Will. You are most for making welcome. the time. Good to, to see you.